Hey everyone, it's drugstore day. I have tons of drugstore products to show you and I got all of them at a discount, amazingly enough. I have sack of Ulta stuff and I have sack of Target stuff. So let's get started. So you seriously need to try these new Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chromes. It comes in a multitude of colors. I bought three of them. You really, uh, you'll be amazed. They're just so beautiful. I have some of them on today. So these are like the color tattoos that come in the little pots. However, these are in a wand and they're creamier. So they're easier, to me, they're easier to apply. This just has a wand and it's so much easier to deal with. These are so highly metallic, opaque, and beautiful. I just love these. So if you're looking for something long wearing to wear like this summer to a pool party or the beach or whatever, this is the way to go. This stuff stays on so incredibly well and it's so shimmery and pretty. So I have on my lids today this color. It is called Beige Luster. That's what it looks like. Oh, I love it. You can put this on fairly thin and sort of tap it out and it goes on thinner or you can put it on really heavy and get that super heavy metallic look. I think I did put two layers on today on my lid because the first layer was not really showing a whole lot of oomph. I did not put a primer on first with this today and I've noticed it sort of sheared out in the middle a little bit. Maybe it's better to put these on with lid primers. Another color I got is called Khaki Cool. It's a deep green. It's like an olive uh, or an army green. So different. So different, especially for me. I don't usually wear colors like this on my eye. So I think that one would be great for fall. Uh, other color, Gilded Rose. A very light, icy, neutral pink. Very pale pink, not intensely pink. This one kind of um, has a sheerness going on with it. It's the kind of one that you might need to put two layers on if you want to get some opacity on it. Let the first layer dry though because they will not, they won't build like that. They kind of melt each other off. Also picked up three of the new Color Tattoo crayons. These aren't super new. They came out um, several months ago, but I picked up the three that I really, really have been liking. Um, and I got all of this stuff um, from Target and Ulta with 20% off. So first of all, Ulta was having 20% off. They sent me an email. So I went in and got a bunch of stuff with that. And then last night, out of the blue, I found out that Target was doing 20% off all beauty and health items. So I went in and got a bunch of Target stuff for 20% off. So my whole haul today was 20% off. I love it. So this shade in the Color Tattoo Concentrated Crayon is called Bronze Truffle. I'll do that down here. And I kind of today, with what I have on, mixed some of these in, some of these crayons in with some of these liquid chrome ones. So I lined my eyes in the lavender shade, which is up next. That is called Lilac Lust. This color is so beautiful. It is the prettiest deep lilac silver. So pretty. I lined my top lid with that today. I lined my lower lid with this bronze one, bronze truffle. And then I used just a dark brown, uh, a dark brown shade from my Too Faced Bon Bon palette. I used a dark brown color in my crease and in my corner today. Um, another color on this concentrated crayon barely beige i used this as my highlight today barely beige it's got a bit of a shimmer to it it doesn't seem to be as you know power packed with the color as the others i probably because it's just a sort of an ivory beigey color so I'm loving these. I want more of these because the advantage to these is that you can use them as eyeliners. The liquid form ones in these eye chromes, that would be very difficult to do. I mean, I really like these because they're versatile. You can use them on your lid and then you can also line with them. So I want to get more of these. Absolute score at CVS the other day. I want, the first thing I do when I go to CVS is I go into their coupon machine. I punch in my CVS phone number and I get coupons printed out. Well, I had already gone in there with a $10 CVS Beauty Reward that I was excited about. I go up to the machine, I punch in my number, it spits out another $7 Beauty Reward. 
plus it spits out a three dollars off 15 reward so i got a bunch of stuff and i used my all of my cvs bucks i ended up getting twenty dollars off of my purchase with all of my cvs bucks and the three dollars off 15 cosmetics that i had and when i was checked out it printed me off another ten dollar cvs beauty reward so I have to go back, and I think I'm going to go back and get some more of these because these are just so useful. They're so versatile. I have on today another drugstore item from Wet n Wild. This is a, one of their Color Icon blushes, which they've had Color Icon blushes out forever, but this is a newer color. It's called Apricot in the Middle. Now it says it is a new formula. Um, I wonder what they mean by that. I wonder if they mean it's, you know, more evenly pigmented or what. I really liked this. I have this on. If you can see, it's sort of a high, uh, blush and highlighter built in together. It's a pretty apricot color. I'll put it right here on the side with all these chromes. And it has a golden sheen to it. Look at the sheen on it. It's so pretty. I put this on, I was surprised. In the pan, it just looks sort of dusty and blah. But then when you put it on, it, it gets this, this golden sheen to it. I'm really happy with it. I think it's a really pretty color. Of course, I'd put highlight on top of it because I'm a highlighter addict. I just, I'm an addict. But this has a built-in highlight, so I love that about it. The color I have on my lips right now is really, really different color for me, and I, it doesn't really go with what I have on or anything, but I just think it's so pretty. I had to put it on and show you guys. This one is uh, one of the new Maybelline Bold series. They have a new bold series of lipsticks. This one is called Gone Grage. I just thought it was so pretty. Um, it doesn't really go with what I have on, but I just think it's just so unusual. It's not too heavy on the gray to where you're like, ooh, that's really ugly and gross. But, and it's a, it's a matte, but it feels quite comfortable. I've tried their mattes before and have not really liked them because I felt that they were, after a while, after you wear it for a while, it gets very dry. I'm not really feeling like this is going to be the case. Maybe with this bold formula, they have a new formulation and their mattes are creamier or they're more hydrating. So that would be great. So good night. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, thanks for everybody's continued support. You guys are so incredibly nice to me. And uh, I've got some stuff on order as usual. And I've got money coming in from Glambot, which I'll place more orders with. You know how I am. I still need to show you guys this Chantecai palette. Um, I still need to do something with these colors. That's going to be a lot of fun. So see you then.